Hello friends, so welcome to this new video that is the part 2 of the first module damped vibrations. So first we have to study the damped vibrations and hence first we have to know what are free vibrations. So I am just telling you the definitions of free vibrations. Listen carefully. So if a body is made to vibrate by disturbing it from its state of equilibrium and leaving to vibrate itself. The body vibrates with its own definite natural frequency. So such a vibration which takes place only under the influence of its own elastic force is called natural or free vibrations. And you all know I have written previously in the section of SHM in the video that the equations for free vibration and SHM is d square x by dt square plus omega square x equal to 0. And the solution is x equal to a sin omega t plus delta so now we'll be concentrating on what are damped vibrations let me write the definition for you all so this is the definition of our simple damped vibration when the amplitude of deep vibrations is decreased of a body due to external forces it is called damped vibration so you all know that this is the curve for simple harmonic motions or undamped vibrations all the amplitudes are equal similarly for damped vibration the graph or the curve will look somewhat like this So this is how the curve looks like for a damped vibration it is displacement here in this axis and it is time here in this axis so this is the curve looks like of a damped vibrations so now let us see the differential equations and its solution so in case of a damped harmonic vibration there are two types of forces acting on the vibrating body these are the restoring force and the damping or retarding force what are the two kinds of forces number one is the restoring force and number two is the damping force so what are both of them the restoring force which is the proportional to displacement as before in the uh, video of shm we have seen and tends to bring the particle back to its initial position if we consider x as the displacement from the equilibrium position of the particle then the restoring force we can say is equal to minus a x where a is the constant representing the restoring force per unit displacement and damping force or retarding force we can also write it as retarding force is proportional to velocity and is given by minus b dx dt where b is the resistive force caused by friction per unit velocity that is damping coefficient and it is defined as damping force per unit velocity so by combining these two actions of forces on the particle we can write the equation of motion for damped vibration as m into d square x by dt square is equal to minus a x minus b d x d t where m we know as the mass of the body so it will be d square x by d t square plus b by m into d x by d t plus a by m into x equal to zero so what we will get we'll get the final equations or differential equation for the free vibrations as d square x by dt square plus 2k into dx dt plus omega square x which is equal to 0 we are getting this equation finally so this is the differential equation of motion for a damped harmonic oscillator here k is equal to 
b by 2m a is equal to b by 2m and we can also find omega that will be equal to root over a by m this is called the restoring constant so it can come in the mcq portion from the examination point of view now we will solve this differential equation so now we will do the solution so the equation we have got let me write it again for you all it is d square x by dt square plus 2k into dx dt plus omega square x is equal to 0 so the equation is a second order differential equation as you can see here square is there to solve this equation we take a trial solution as we all know we will take a trial solution as x equal to a dash e to the power alpha t so this is our trial solution therefore we can say dx dt will be equal to if we differentiate this one we'll be getting a dash alpha e to the power alpha t is equal to alpha x and d square x by dt square is equal to a dash alpha square e to the power alpha t that is equal to alpha square x therefore by substituting the values of d square x by dt square and dx dt from here we can write the equation as alpha square x plus 2k alpha x plus omega square x equal to 0 or we can say alpha square plus 2k alpha plus omega square is equal to 0 therefore alpha will be equal to minus 2k plus minus root over 4k square minus 4 omega square is simple mathematics by 2 that is equal to minus k plus minus root over k square minus omega square so if we generalize the solution what we can write we can write the solution as x is equal to a e to the power minus k plus root over k square minus omega square t plus b e to the power minus k minus root over k square minus omega square t so this is the final solution of the differential equation please note it down it is a very important solution also if we conclude it we can write the solution as x equal to e to the power minus kt into a into e to the power k square minus omega square or root over plus b into e to the power minus root over all of k square minus omega square into t and here also we have to multiply t so these two are the solutions so now we'll be seeing three cases of damping so the case one is when k that is damping constant is greater than omega that is restoring constant so k is damping constant and omega is restoring constant so in this case we can see that k square minus omega square whole root over will be less than k so both the exponents of this equation that is the solution equation both the exponents become decreasing hence x tends to 0 as 
e to the power minus infinity equal to 0 for t tends to infinity. So the displacement x of the body gradually decreases exponentially with time and it comes to its equilibrium position at t equal to infinity without performing any oscillation. So this type of motion is called over damped or a periodic motion. So this kind of motion can be named as over damped motion or a periodic motion. So this is the definition of over damped or a periodic motion. Now we will go to case 2. So now for case 2, when k tends to omega, the equation the, that is the above equation of solution can be written as x equal to e to the power minus kt into a into e to the power beta t plus b into e to the power minus beta t where I have assumed beta is equal to root over k square minus omega square. So it is a very small quantity in this case. Hence neglecting smaller quantities we can have x that is let me write here neglecting smaller quantities we can have x to be equal to e to the power minus kt into a into 1 plus beta t plus b into 1 minus beta t so that is equal to e to the power minus kt into a plus b plus a minus b beta t so that is equal to e to the power minus kt into p plus ut if we assume where I have assumed p equal to a plus b and q equal to a minus b into beta where I have assumed all this. So this type of motion is known as critically damped motion. So this is critically damped motion. So now we will go on to case 3. So we will go on to case 3. So in this case we will consider k less than omega. So if k less than omega then we have root over k square minus omega square is equal to i into root over omega square minus k square that is equal to i omega dash where I have assumed omega dash sorry it will be dash equal to root over omega square minus k square it is a real quantity so from the solution equation we can have x equal to e to the power minus kt into a d to the power i omega dash t plus b into e to the power minus i omega dash t so that must be equal to e to the power minus kt into a plus b cos of omega dash t plus i into a minus b into sine of omega dash t so here we can obtain x equal to c e to the power minus kt into sine omega dash t plus phi where I have assumed a plus b equal to c sine phi and 
i a minus b into equal to c of cos phi so we can assume that and we will come out with this solution so this kind of motion is known as light damping or under damped motion this represents a damped oscillatory motion of frequency f here in this equation we have c into e to the power minus kt as the amplitude so this amplitude decreases exponentially with time so this amplitude decreases exponentially with time so examples examples are pendulums then lcr circuits etc these are examples of damped vibration 